Welcome to our lesson on finding the area of a parallelogram on a trapezium. So we're going to begin with a parallelogram. And to work out the area, we're going to consider it as a different shape. And what I mean by this is we have our parallelogram here. And from this parallelogram, we're going to make a rectangle. We can do this by removing this corner here. So we drop a perpendicular line down and we have a perfect right angle triangle. And we can move this right angle triangle to the other side so it fits perfectly here. So this right angle is now moved to here and we still have this right angle on the right hand side. So now we have a perfect rectangle which is the same area as our original parallelogram. And we know the area of a rectangle is the length or in this case the base multiplied by the perpendicular height. So we can use this idea with question A where I'm going to drop a perpendicular line down and its vertex. So we create a right angle here and here. I'm going to move this triangle to the other side so it becomes here. And like you saw a minute ago we now have a perfect rectangle where the base is still six centimeters and the perpendicular height is still four centimeters. So the area of this orange rectangle is the same as the green parallelogram, which is a product of six and four centimeters. So this gives us an area of 24 centimeters squared. Do you want to try and work out the area of the gray parallelogram in question B? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So this time I'm going to draw a perpendicular line down here and I can move this triangle, this right angle triangle to the other side of a parallelogram so it fits perfectly here and here's the right angle so the area will be 3 centimeters multiplied by 9 centimeters 27 centimeters squared. Okay let's move on to calculating the area of a trapezium so like we did with a parallelogram, we're going to find the area of a trapezium by considering it as a different shape. So I'll begin by sketching a trapezium. And I'm going to create this trapezium into a parallelogram by placing another copy of it on the other side of the shape. So this is the same length of the two congruent trapezia. And this length is 7 centimeters, and this is the 5 centimeters. So the two congruent trapezia join to make a perfect parallelogram. And like we did a few minutes ago, we're going to move this triangle, this right angle triangle, from the left side to the right side. So by doubling the original trapezium, we have created a perfect rectangle, where the length is 12 centimeters and the height is 5 centimeters. So the area of this rectangle is 60 centimeters squared. But we know this rectangle is two lots of the original trapezium. So to work out the area of a yellow trapezium, we're going to half the area of the rectangle. So we'll divide it by two and we'll get 30 centimeters squared. Do you want to try and work out the area of the trapezium in question B? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So here we have a copy of the original trapezium. And to make it into a parallelogram, I'm going to place another copy of it along this edge here. Where this length is the 8 centimeters, and this is the 4 centimeters. And we can make it into a rectangle by dropping a perpendicular line down, removing this triangle, and fitting it on the other side of our parallelogram. So now we have this rectangle which I'm highlighting in green. So again the area of our green rectangle is 12 times 5, 60 centimeters squared. Remembering the rectangle is formed by two other trapeziums, so we're going to have it to work out the area of one. So again 60 centimeters squared divided by 2 which is 30 centimeters squared. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.